Hello guys, this is Cinnamon, what the Cinnamon once again, and I am here to show you this nice little Flash game that you've probably heard of. Super Mario Brothers Crossover version 1.2.03. This is a really, really good Flash game made by Exploding Rabbit, where it's the original Super Mario Brothers, but you can play as multiple characters from NES games. What I'm gonna try to do is play through every single world as one character in the most default setting possible. So they're gonna not gonna be in any order and I'm gonna try to explain them all along the way and try maybe even give some trivia if I know any. So let's start off with uh, Ryu just because. So anyway Ryu is from the game Ninja Ga Gaiden, Gaiden whatever you pronounce it and his games are known for being really freaking hard so I'm not that much of a fan of them too much. I like the difficulty and such, but you know, like, I just don't really like the gameplay games in general. I never really grew up with it or anything. But anyway, Ryu can jump around, he does flips, he can climb on walls and do wall jumps. He attacks with his sword, and if you hold down the attack button when you have a mushroom, he can throw his, uh, boomerang star thingy, I forgot the full name for it. And press C and he'll throw ninja stars. Yeah, oh. Once you give him a fire flower, he'll be able to have a longer range and more powerful sword attack. Which is kind of convenient, considering how it takes two hits to kill Goombas. Um, so yeah, and basically, this is Ninja Gaiden uh, controls with Super Mario Brothers logic. Like, the star makes you invincible. I'm pretty sure you know all this. If you don't know this, then I'm pretty sure you're rather new to gaming. Or new to the world in general, because everybody knows what the star does in Mario. I mean, who doesn't know Mario nowadays? But this isn't Mario, this is Ryu Hayabusa, or however you pronounce his name. I've never really been a fan of the Ninja Gaiden series. Gaiden. That's a cheat. You can unlock it. Anyway, it's time for World 1-2. Also, if you've noticed that, uh... There, every level has music from the character's game, uh, blah, 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 series. So, like, instead of the normal da 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 that you hear right now, you actually hear a theme from Ninja Gaiden. I can't really tell what it is, I'm sorry, but I wasn't really that much of a fan of Ninja Gaiden. Ah! Shrunk down. He's fun to play as in levels like these, though, especially when you get the spinning shuriken, which we shall get in a minute. Mostly because of the destruction you can cause in these types of levels with these types of characters. There we go. Look at this. Isn't that just beautiful? Actually, that was terrible. This is just amazing. Quit proving me wrong. Quit trying to make me look bad, game. Just destroying everything with your little spinny star. It's just so fun to do. And if you're really pro, I'm pretty sure there's some people who could actually make that star spin around them forever, but I can't, you see. Because, again, I don't really play Ninja Gaiden, Gaiden, whatever. There's been controversy on what the name is called. I'm pretty sure it's Gaiden. I mean, crap, Gaiden. But people have been saying Gaiden so much that it's been affecting me in a way to make me say that as well. La, so Gaiden, because I believe that's the right pronunciations. So anyway, if you know back here, everyone should know that back here leads to the warp zone, but we're not taking it because we're playing the game in its entirety. Because we're good people like that. So yeah, hey, level 2 clear. World 1-3. This is the infamous mushroom thing stage, or trees, or whatever. You, they're mushrooms, obviously. I don't know why I think they would be trees. If there's anyone who ever thought these were trees, tell me, please, and I'll make fun of you. To a certain degree. Then I'll applaud you later for having different opinions. Um... It's weird how Goombas have more than one HP. I mean, considering how Goombas are considered the underlings of underlings, they should pretty much die in one hit. I mean... Oh, hey, I died. Oh well. We have plenty of lives. 
Oh yeah. Another thing that you, is in this game, you can also backtrack, which is different from the original Super Mario Brothers. But there's a cheat you can use to turn that off, but I prefer not to because that's only an inconvenience in my opinion. and doesn't really change much of the game. Besides, I won't be doing it too much. Other than that, getting that one mushroom, you probably won't be seeing me do it much more. So yeah, we're coming to the end of this level, and next up, and if you didn't... I don't know why I'm explaining this to you, but in every world there is eight worlds and there's four levels in each world, so after every the fourth level of every world has a castle. You should know this. I'll try to take down Bowser with a by actually fighting him instead of running and getting the axe like you always see. And by the way, to fight Bowser you have to get the axe. I'm explaining this just so I can make my sound self sound cooler and like I know what I'm doing. And we all know that's not true. Except not really, because I've had this game since I was a kid. Since I didn't need... Fun fact, I actually... But when I was like three years old and I was first introduced to Mario, I think. Actually, that was more like when I was one or two. I used to think his name was Nintendo. And I used to think Luigi's name was Mike. Princess was Princess, Yoshi was Dragon, Bowser was Monster, and I can't remember who anything else. So yeah, I had I did not know how to read names at the time, as you can Aw oh, crap. Oh god, Koopa was obviously Turtle. And hey, we killed Bowser. World clear. Thank you, Ryu, but our princess is in another castle. Toad, weren't you supposed to be the best? Why are you getting captured? So anyway, that was World 1. We'll start off World 2 in the next video. I'm Cinnamon, see you guys later.